Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate that. If you're new on my channel, then make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Today we are gonna talk about a very important topic and I'm gonna explain you the difference between designer, celebrity, niche, artisan and even natural references. Because I feel that a lot of people talk about these terms, but not everybody knows what they actually mean. And today I'm gonna clear it up for you. So if you want to learn more, then please keep on watching. So let's start with design references. And as the word designer already tells us, design references are made by designers. Well, not actually directly by designers, let's give an example. Imagine the house of Chanel or the house of Dior. These are very famous brands and besides uh, clothes, uh, beauty uh, products, they have also fragrances. These fragrances are created by in-house perfumers people who create perfumes. So these huge brands, they have their own perfumers who create fragrances for them. And the important thing is that you understand that not the perfumer decides which fragrance he wants to create, the brand tells him what he should do. For example, Chanel tells, we want a fragrance that should smell like that, that and that, and then the perfumer creates it for them. So some of designer fragrances are affordable, some of them are uh, pricey, but they all try to be luxurious and um, they also try to make their fragrances mass appealing because they want that a lot of people buy their fragrances, obviously. So that's for they try to create something good, pleasant smelling and um, you can be sure that you won't find creative designer fragrances because not everybody wants to wear something creative, people want something nice smelling. So that's for um, if you want to stand out of the crowd, you probably shouldn't go specifically for designer fragrances. So the, even though designer fragrances have good quality, they the, the value of juice inside, what is inside the bottle, is like 10 or, I don't know, 15 euros or dollars, guys, because I want to give you an example. Um, imagine the scent of rose, so you want to buy a rose perfume or something, yeah? And you can use an essential oil that comes directly from rose, like Rose Absolute. It has really high concentration and it smells very organic, like pure oil. And it is expensive. Or you can use a synthetic, kind of like Rose Substitute. So that is exactly what designer brands, like huge brands with uh, famous names like Chanel or many others, what they do, they use uh, use the, those synthetic ingredients, that's for the fragrance is like inside the scent, the, the liquid, it is actually inexpensive, but what we are paying for when we buy, we don't pay $10, we pay $50, $60, $70, we are paying, first of all, for the packaging, and most important thing for the brand's name, because when somebody asks you what are you wearing and you tell them I'm wearing Chanel, then they are like, all right, wow, that's cool, yeah, because everybody knows Chanel, it's luxurious, it's uh, the best, so yeah, that's for your paying for the brand's name. You can find design of fragrances in a lot of different department, uh, fragrance departments. They're easy to find, and that's for the the, the idea behind that is um, they um, you can have you can have like an easy access to them. Yeah, so they can be they you can find them easily. Now let's talk about celebrity fragrances, and they are the same as designers, with the exception that they don't represent brands, they represent famous people, for example, Katy Perry, Madonna, Sergisca Parker, like famous uh, celebrities. And those fragrances are very, very, they're cheap, they smell very floral, sweet, fresh, it doesn't matter, they are very and they also smell cheap because they are even cheaper than 
um, design of Francis. So what is inside is purely synthetic, nothing organic um, by any means, and they are available in a lot of different stores where are a lot of people constantly because, you know, they should be uh, available to everybody. They are available at the supermarket or at the furnace departments, like everywhere. They have low quality because of the ingredients inside and basically that's all. So now we have talked about design and celebrity fragrances. So let's talk about niche fragrances now. So a huge difference from design of fragrances is that um, first of all, niche fragrances are hard to find. They are available at special perfume boutiques or exclusively available at some perfume shops. And in a lot of times, niche brands, they are independent. For example, I decide to uh, create my own brand and I, as an owner of this brand, want to collaborate with different perfumers and they create fragrances for me. Like, with my ideas, I can be a creative director, then I give these ideas to perfumers and they create fragrances for me. Niche uh, brands try to use very good quality materials. That's for the quality of their fragrances. It's much higher um, because of bad ingredients than like design of fragrances. And what I like about niche brands, they are not afraid to be creative, to experiment, and that's for their different. Their fragrances are very unique special and that's for if you're going for a niche friends you have really high chances to stand out of the crowd and not to smell like somebody's mother girlfriend father i don't know whatever so that's been said niche it's like a small uh category of perfumes all right so yeah they can be pricey but you're paying for really good ingredients for uh, for a lot of things because if this is an independent brand you can imagine how high the costs are. So that's been said, now let's talk about artisan perfume brands. So artisan brands, this is like a small category, a small niche in the niche and um, these are, for example, an example, if I'm the owner of the brand and I'm also the perfumer, so the person who owns the brand and creates the perfume is the same person, then um, this is an artisan perfume brand. I think it is pretty, um, I don't know, like easy description. So anyways, um, what I like about artisan brands and why I love them, they're actually my favorites, is because in a lot of times these perfumers, artisan perfumers, they are self-taught, so they don't follow the rules, they're not afraid to break the rules, to experiment, to go like father, so that's for their fragrances are super creative, different, unusual, and the materials that they use a lot of times are natural materials, which are which is awesome. So that's been said. Now let's talk about natural perfumes, and that is basically very easy. This is even a smaller niche, and uh, basically. These are the fragrances that are made of completely natural ingredients, so no synthetic ingredients in them. That are natural fragrances. And they can be very expensive because of the ingredients, they cost a lot of money. Because uh, the synthetic rose oil or something, it costs like, I don't know, 3 euros and the rose absolute costs uh, uh, 50 euros, so you can imagine. That is because, um, that is the fact why they are so pricey. So that being said, guys, I hope that I was helpful today. And please let me know which fragrances you prefer. Do you like designer fragrances, celebrity fragrances, artisan niche natural fragrances? And please comment down below because I really want to know your opinion. I really want to start a conversation with you because I really find this topic very uh, interesting and exciting. So yeah, I'm looking forward to all your thoughts. And uh, if I was helpful today, then please, please give me a thumbs up. I'm so glad to see them. And also subscribe to my channel because your support means a lot to me. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see each other in my next video really soon. Bye.